Hello and welcome to a walkthrough of one of my latest projects. This is not really a tutorial but more of an overview. I won't be covering every detail but I hope it's just a bit more useful than a basic time lapse. And I hope you can learn something from this. So let's start. First I started building out the city. These are assets from William Landgren's Patreon. They had the lights built in, which was really nice. I brought the camera to ground level and made a panning motion from right to left. And make sure you enable motion blur to get this nice movie feel. To get some nice reflections, I used the nighttime HDRI. For the road, I used a basic photo texture of a road. And I used Blender Guru's tutorial on wet roads to get some nice puddles. After this, use the array modifier to extend the road both ways and create a basic layout of the city. Something like this is fine because we're mostly focusing on the front of the city. Then it's time to fill out the city with some other stuff like statues, street lights and traffic lights. This step can take a long time because you want to make it look like it's a city that people actually live in. So just go nuts on this step. Add everything you can think of because in real life cities are packed with stuff. Oh yeah, and don't forget the trees. Next it's time to add some vehicles. I got this vehicle from Ian Ubert's Patreon. The cars just do a basic movement from right to left as the train is passing by. Just make it look like the train is going a little bit faster than the car itself. Make sure you add some traffic jams as well. For the next step, I created a train cart. I think this is a technique that uh, a lot of people use because this is basically the photo texture technique that uh, Ian Hubert made popular. I used this to create the train cart. The one that you see in the recording is a little bit different than the one I actually used, but it's the same technique. I rendered a few frames to see if everything was going correct and looks, looks promising so far. I added a wiggle modifier to the z-axis of the train. This way you get a nice up and down motion as if the train is really on some tracks. Now it's time to add the green screen element of my cat. I tried to mimic the lighting as if uh, he was looking out the window and some lights were passing by. Didn't really work in the end but it was good enough. I keyed out the footage in After Effects and uh, used the red background to see if everything went well and rendered it out as a PNG sequence. I brought this sequence into Blender and it looks really good. I positioned it where I roughly wanted the cat to be in the train and parented the cat to the train. And it looked really nice so far. It's nice when things work out the way you have them in your head. Next I added some details where the cat was sitting on. This is mostly to bring the scene more alive and also hide some imperfections that may be caused by the green screen keying or something like that. Just make sure you add enough stuff so people won't notice. Because the cat is a flat PNG file, I had to do something to fake some lighting on the cat itself. So I used the light inside the train and made a, yeah, some sort of diffuser to get some passing light on the cat and not on the entire inside of the train. At this point I was mostly done. I just started adding a little bit more details and finally rendered out the train animation, which took a lot of time. Inside After Effects I needed to add a window for this train. I tried it in Blender but it didn't quite work because of the lights and everything. So I tracked the footage and just add a simple grungy image as a window. It looked good enough, so I also faked some reflections using a duplicate of the original and just masked it out and parent it to the window as well. After this, the only thing that was left is color grade. I'm not really good at this, but I tried my best and I'm quite happy with the end result. I hope you learned something from this. I know I'm not the best explainer, but maybe there were a few things in there you didn't know or maybe helped you. So anyway, thanks for watching and hope to see you again.